Hey folks, it's Susan Edwards at The Rock Shop at 311 Broadway in historic downtown Paducah where positive energy works. We got uh, people in every day and it's like, okay, so I bought this crystal, now what? So we're gonna talk about what do you do with the crystals now that you got them? Stick around. Welcome back. Okay, so you found the perfect crystal and now you're like, okay, now what? Well, um, I guess the simplest thing that you can do is you can just have them sitting around. So I have a, a beautiful little bowl here. Any kind of a little treasure catcher would be lovely. And I've just sort of gathered my crystals and put them in my little bowl. And I can set them around. I can put them where I sit. I could put them where I sleep. Um, be a little careful about what you put around where you sleep. Crystals can be stimulating in terms of dreams, so they might stimulate some pretty vivid dreaming. And if you're not real used to crystals, sometimes they can be a little stimulating, and so we don't want to keep you awake. So if it's a little bothersome, just put them a little bit further away from your bed stand. Just move them back a little bit. But having them sit around and just adorn your decor is a lovely way to honor your crystals. Their energy is going to infuse into the uh, area, especially around where you're sitting or you're, you're sleeping. And their gentle energy is just gonna help you, um, you know, stay balanced or whatever the crystal is good for. So that's one thing. Next thing is you could certainly um, put them in your pocket. I call them pocket rocks. So people carry uh, pocket rocks all the time. And I get people in sometimes and they're like, oh my God, I lost my pocket rock. Ah! So uh, certainly carry them in your pocket. I have many ladies who come in and they're like, okay, which crystals do I have in my bra today? So just saying, that's one way to carry your crystals around. Next thing to do is put them in a little bag. Now this happens to be a silk bag, silk bag. And um, it's just, it's a lovely little drawstring bag and you can put your crystals right in there. And then you could um, hang them in your purse or uh, hang them from your, um, what's your, your visor from the, the car and just, you know, have them with you at all times. So that's, that's another thing that you can do with your crystals is to carry them in a, in a sweet little bag. Um, next thing you could do is you can wear your crystals. So I brought a crystal up and a wire cage and I've hung it on a copper chain. And when you get a crystal and you'd like to wear it, but it's not wrapped or in a setting of any kind, most of us have these little wire cages and what you can do is you can just pop them in, pop, get them straightened out and well, I got my chain kind of caught up there. But basically now you've got your, your uh, selected crystal captured in a wire cage and now you can wear it as a necklace. Um, super easy and you can even take this crystal out if you would like to change out the crystals. So that's a real easy way to capture your crystal. You can always do a wire wrap and there's lots of videos about how to do that, including some on my channel. Um, but this is an easy way to do it and it's really inexpensive. All right, so next thing, if you have a uh, cluster, this is a beautiful uh, quartz cluster and it happens to be an abundance cluster. So um, I have one similar to this on my altar at my home. What's an altar? Well, an altar is just a sacred space. Um, I have one of those high sofa table kinds of things. It's kind of narrow and kind of high. And I've got a, a lovely little um, area where I've got set up where I've got my, my cluster. I have a charging plate, which is a selenite charging plate to keep everything clean. And then my, um, my special treasures I set around. Now, one of the nice things about a cluster is quartz clusters or amethyst clusters can clean other stones. So if you've been carrying your stones all day and you get done, you know, you take your change out of your pocket, well, you take your, your uh, stones out of your pocket and you can just set them in the cluster overnight 
and the quartz is then going to help uh, get and keep them clean because quartz is a master healing stone and it, it helps to clear other crystals. So that's one thing you could do with it. You, you want to be careful not to break any of your points, of course, but that's one way you can do it. You can set up a grid. Um, and grids are not difficult. We'll talk about grids in another video, um, but you can just set up, set up a little grid. I don't know if I'm on camera here. Um, with your intention on what you want to do, uh, have it on your altar, uh, maybe have a candle or some flowers, um, and then just make that your sacred space. And that's going to send crystal energies into the room. And every time you see it, it's just going to remind you that your intention was to have a peaceful day or to have a joyful day or a productive day. Um, and that's really all that a, a grid needs to do. All right, so there's a couple of ideas. Another idea, now these are smoky crystal points. And smokies are particularly good for absorbing and dispersing negative energy. So if your household's a little chaotic, maybe has a little negativity going on, one of the things that you can do is you can have some smoky quartz points sitting around. Smoky quartz points sitting around uh, can help capture and divert and transmute some negative energy. Now, if you've got a little more than negative energy going on, you can use smoky points as what we call vacuums. So just take a small glass or a, a, a small bowl, big enough that it's going to cover your crystal, fill it with some water and put some salt in there. And it doesn't make a lot of difference what kind of salt, but put some salt in there and kind of squish it around a little bit. And then put your, uh, well, let me, let me rephrase that. You're going to program your crystal to uh, absorb and transmute and heal any negative energy or even any evil energy. So basically this is a psychic vacuum cleaner. So you'll put your smoky quartz into a little bucket of, uh, small bucket of salt water and then you can place it around your house in areas where people congregate or it feels uncomfortable, maybe a little thick or it's an area where you're maybe having some paranormal activity and you'll need to clean this probably well it depends on your environment i mean if you've got a lot of stuff going on you may need to clean it every day and the way you clean it is just you know dispose of the salt water and the way you do that is you put it down the, the toilet and flush it rinse it out put fresh water fresh, fresh salt rinse off your crystal uh, reprogram it and then put it back in and put it back out where it belongs um, that's if you need some psychic protection. So those are some great ideas on how to use your crystals. Um, set them around, wear them, put them in your pocket, carry them in other places, um, have a little catch bag, a little treasure catcher, create an altar space, and always consider wearing your crystals. I hope that helps. This is Susan at the Rock Shop at 311 Broadway in historic downtown Paducah where positive energy works. Enjoy your crystals. Have a great day.